just about to clean the engine um, I'm going to put the exhaust manifold back on I'm just going to take this turbine housing off block off that there with a square bit of wood that I'll bolt on um, that should close off the exhaust ports I've covered that with a glove I'll add a cable tie to it and then just got to cover the fuel the fuel connections there um, there's an air connection there anything else that's not covered I'll block off vacuum um, and then I can give it a good pressure wash and a degrease it should be good Pretty hard to pull this thing off the driveway. She's pretty heavy. Came up with a most elegant solution. like it wants to she Kill a dowping. Cheeky fucker. Front main seal is in. Go for a dive.
Injector lines are off. I'm gonna remove the P pump. Gotta take this filter off first, I guess. And the throttle leakage. There's supposed to be a bracket underneath. Just made this little puller. Um, it bent the first time, so it's a weld a bit extra on. So, do the job. That is the P pump gear, timing gear removed. This is the tappet cover after a bit of a cleanup. It's pretty good. Um, the edges are in good shape, so I might paint it, clean off a bit of the surface rust, and um, reuse it. It should be fine. I'm just going along, lifting up all the uh, tappets with this magnet. Which works quite well. And you've got two hands to do it. And then dropping the cable tie around it, which is working quite well. But they have to be lifted up so I can get the camshaft out, which I'll do next. Alright, all of the um, tappets are cable tied in the up position.
Camshaft is in really good nick. Oil pump. Be some junk hanging off the end of the oil pickup. Something's clean at least, doesn't seem to be. I'll have to drain the bottom here out, but doesn't seem to be any filings or you know, anything of concern in there. And of course, the interesting bit the bottom end made in Brazil. Too cool clumps of gasket goo that were hanging off the end of the oil pickup there probably a pretty good argument for not overdoing the gasket goo so there is a gasket with the timing case um, I've also put some sealant on both sides of it I really don't want this to leak so belt and braces um, and that can go back on the block So I'm just going to take each of these bolts out, uh, the internal timing case bolts, and put some Loctite on them. Oh, so this is Permatex, the red locker. Just cut out this little metal tab that's gone under that bolt and covered up that dowel pin, the old killer dowel pin. Um, so that should stop that from going anywhere. This is the um, cam retainer. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but there's um, definitely a lip worn into it. Um, seems to be identical on the other side. It's a machine surface, and it's got the oil galleries there for it. So I'm just gonna flip it over and run it that way. Um, I guess I'll Google whether that's sort of appropriate, but I don't see why not. Mark 1 Engineering, um, so Kelvin, as some of 
you viewers might know him as if you've seen him around the 6BT pages has hooked me up with some gear at a good price um, we want a new starter solenoid for the um, T pump a new lift pump now this is like just the mechanical factory one um, I'm gonna run this for now later on I mean yeah like we'll see what I do later on but um, for now that's more than more than enough for, for stock power so I'm gonna run this and he's also giving me the missing bracket and stuff that the solenoid comes with um, so that's handy too so cheers Kelvin I'm fairly sure that these are the seals for the tap and cover that go under the bolts that hold it in just to give you an idea that's what was on there <laughs> there's nothing left of it there's like a metal washer in there and like you can see it's falling apart so um, this is the new seal as well for the tap cover so hopefully that works too that's the tappet cover with a, a lick of paint and the new seal on it New seal on the P pump. I don't know if it's the correct seal. It kind of stretched a lot to fit in there, so I don't know. I don't know if I got one with my set, but it's on there. In this box, I have an AFC Live. This is a mod from Power Driven Diesel um, over in the States that will let me tune my fueling on the go. So I've watched a few that they watched their video a few times um, on how to fit this. Um, so, just got this um, Max travel kit. So, on top of the P pump here is what's called the AFC. I think that's the air fuel control. Um, there's like a diaphragm in there that moves back and forward and it manipulates the fuel rack, so how much fuel is getting injected um, based on boost pressure. Um, and whatever you set the pre-boost fuel into as well. So this controls all of that. Um, and this gives it more range. So you can crank the fueling up without losing your control down low um, with this max travel kit. Um, and this is the gizmo itself here. So, look, I don't pretend to know how it really works, but there's a, a fuel rate and a power thing. And on the side, there's a switch for max power. So just extended power um, as well as whatever that gauge is, boost pressure maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so that's what this gizmo does, lets you turn the power up and adjust it from the cab. Um, it's totally mechanical, there's no electronics, I'll throw a photo up of um, what this thing looks like inside, it's all just air pressure control valves and stuff. So that's pretty cool, fully mechanical. So this kit is from double duty diesel which is um, power driven diesel's Australian counterpart no worries mate thank you I don't know if that's factory or not I thought the foot this little guy sticking out here was supposed to have like a, a pattern cut into the end I don't know if that's been modified or not this here's the fuel plate I believe that restricts movement um, in some way of that foot so what common mod is to remove this that is the fuel plate removed um, I'm fairly sure that doesn't go back in either. So it's, it's now out. And Jesus, what has someone done with silicon? Look, when you go to modify your cars, you're allowed to do things like replace seals. It's not illegal. Right, so that's the AFC kind of sort of cleaned up. You can kind of see inside there what's going on with the foot. 
Uh, I'm gonna take this all apart. There's a diaphragm under this cap here. That there next to my pinky is the basically the pre-boost fuel screw. Um, supposed to be a cap on that, so someone's clearly been monkeying in with it. That's okay. I might just end up even replacing this diaphragm because it's pretty bad looking. This is the AFC foot. Need to trim that end a little bit, give it more travel. And I think I have to modify the end of this little bit down here on the foot. Um, have the manual here tells me what to do. I don't have a ruler with freedom units on it to measure an eighth. Wait a minute. Caliper, right here. Yes, it has inches on it. Um, it's half an inch. That's a quarter of an inch. So that's an eighth of an inch. Ooh. Yeah, about that much. Go. Cool. scuba diving o-ring kit fairly sure that using o-rings from my scuba diving kit gives the car a depth rating so I can now take this car down to 100 meters safely and it'll be fully waterproof just fine so now put the max travel spring in I have some replacement washers so I don't use this cup washer because that gets in the way, hits on the inside of the housing. Instead I put this one and then this one. And then this guy. Small washer. That's the diaphragm installed. Doesn't sort of look too healthy. Um, it's pretty old, so I may have to replace it anyway. Um, and now this needs to go back on. Um, I'm pretty sure. Top of the engine, so that goes on that way. So if I get an oil leak from the AFC housing um, from this seam, straight away know that it's sealed by the um, diaphragm, so it won't be a big deal to change it later. I hope. Might be very really difficult to get to in the car, we'll see.
the oil feed tube for the P-pump is completely dry. Uh, when I took it off, no oil came out, not even a little bit. There's this bracket here under the P-pump that supports the pump itself. And if that's not done up, you can expect to be replacing this bracket because it's supporting the whole weight of the pump and it's a heavy pump. So that didn't have a bolt in it when I got it, which is reassuring. Fuel pump from Marquand Engineering. Very nice. The engine's mostly back together. Um, I've still got a bit to do. Got to put the exhaust and the turbo on. I've uh, got to do the pulleys on the front. Um, still got to put the sump on. And yeah, I still need to find. I busted this little screw banjo bolt. Uh, that's not it. Got a banjo bolt that goes in there. Um, sheared while I was doing it up, so I'm gonna have to find one of those. And then I'll have to see about putting the gearbox on it and how I'm going to lift it and move it around and everything. I think I might maybe leave them separated until I'm at the location where this is going to go in the car. Um, I'm not going to do that here. I don't have, I don't have equipment to really lift this into the car. So um, yeah, stay tuned um, and have more build coming soon. Cheers.